Hi, welcome to the Digital Photography Review. I've got a really quick tutorial here. Uh, if you've never used presets before in Adobe Lightroom, it's incredibly easy and it's a really good way to kickstart your editing process, especially if you are new to photo editing. Now, as we all know, Visco has created some of the most versatile and dynamic filters that exist um, on the internet for purchase today. Uh, I've got the pack number five open here for Canon. I would recommend purchasing this pack if you're considering going for the Visco presets. Uh, it, it's a huge pack. And it's got a lot of versatility and a lot of different looks and some really great black and white as well. Uh, one of the best packs in my opinion. So anyway, uh, the number one thing for presets for using presets in Lightroom is to have the navigator window open here in the top left corner. Um, so if that if that's closed, you're going to want to just open that up. Um, because when you're just mousing over the names of the presets here, it just gives you a little preview. Um, otherwise, you know, you're going to be clicking through and, and looking in the main window over here, which you just don't want to be doing. So um, we'll just scroll through here. And you know, we'll find a, a preset that, uh, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good look, so we'll choose that. So we click it and then it applies the preset. Um, and all the settings will be changed over here um, under these menus. So this preset is actually gonna change a ton of things over here. It changes everything from basic settings, white balance, tints, uh, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, clarity. A lot, something to look out for if you're doing portraits, actually, and you're applying visco filters, it's always going to reduce the clarity by 10. Usually for portraits and certain things, certain nature shots, I want the clarity at zero or even higher. Um, so that's actually something to look out for if you don't normally check clarity. Um, although you'd probably see it if you were going to adjust vibrance or saturation. Uh, the tone curves are, are pretty unbelievable. Um, you know, you're probably not going to want to mess with these if you're applying the filters. Uh, they've all been very carefully constructed. Um, something you will want to change, however, is the amount of grain that is applied by default to the preset. And that is located under the effects panel. So if you put that down uh, right here, grain. So you can either turn that up or take it all the way off. And then you're just going to have the color preset that the Visco uh, preset gives you, which is just beautiful. Um, so obviously you, you can adjust the grain, you can adjust the amount of grain, the size of the grain, um, as well as the roughness. Uh, so you can have a very fine grain uh, and very low roughness, and it's just gonna add a little bit of texture. Anyway, um, that's basically it. That is basically how to use the Visco presets. Um, really just play around with it. Uh, another great thing to do is, is to choose a, a preset, any preset, you know, something with a dramatic look like this, and go in and look at the tone curves and, uh, sorry, and uh, see how it's constructed. And it'll give you a really good idea of, of how to just go in and edit your own photos later. So anyway, that's how to use Visco filters. Stay tuned for more tutorials from beginner level all the way up to advanced. And if you have any requests for any tutorials at all or how to do something, even something simple uh, in Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom uh, or even Premiere Pro, shoot me an email uh, or type a comment um, or visit the blog and just let me know and we'll we'll get that uh, that tutorial made and, and put up on the YouTube channel. So thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.